Hello there, I've become known for my love of red makeup, but red done in a subtle way, whether that's a sheer lip or a bold one with minimal makeup elsewhere, a subtle shade all over the eyelid to make your eye colour pop, or a fresh flush of rouge on the cheeks. I've made a few red related videos before, so you will have seen some recurring favourites. Chanel Pirate, Glossier Zip, Dior 999, RMS Beloved, Olio E Also Crimson, Chanel Lip Blush 418, Gillian Dempsey Ruby, Chanel Desert Rouge. Oh, I'm exhausted. But I wanted to bring you an updated edit of red lipsticks, blushes and eyeshadows I discovered and loved last year, plus a way to tie your look together with a red accessory at the end. My favourite way to wear this colour is on the lips, of course. I get asked about this a lot, and red lipstick is actually not something I tend to wear during the day because it is so strong, so I go for a sheer red, then reach for a bolder shade at night. Here are a few options that tick both boxes. I dipped my toe into the Pat McGrath Lipstick Pond in US Sephora and fell straight in. You'll see more on my channel this year, but for now, here's Vendetta, as vampy and dramatic as it sounds. Her matte trance formula really means business. Very, very matte, but not too flat. I love Charlotte Tilbury's Matte Revolution red shades, but branched out to her KISSING line in So Marilyn, with more sheen and moisture to it. I had this in a mini, but upsized to enjoy the full, deep, dark red experience. The new Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet No. 5 has been all over my feed lately. This festive launch is a vibrant, true red with a hint of raspberry. Rouge Allure Velvet is one of my top three lipstick formulas of all time. Super creamy, smooth, long-lasting, never drying. You know how much I love my Bobbi Brown crushed lip colours, and Regal joined the ranks recently. This warm, bright shade is enough to brighten up your whole look and give a comfortable, stain-like finish straight from the bullet. To round out the lip category, the Pixie by Petra Shea Butter Lip Balm in Scarlet Sorbet. My lovely friend Katie from the channel What Kate Finds gave me this one in a product swap video we filmed when I went to visit her in Michigan last year, and I love how warm this shade is. Best to start slowly with red blush so you avoid clown territory altogether, but that's made easy with sheer shades like these. Tata Harper Volumizing Lip and Cheek Tint is one of my go-to cream blush formulas. The shade Very Naughty will be well behaved on your cheeks thanks to the velvety lightweight formula. Olio E Osso have always been my favourite for barely their balmy colour and their new release number 13 Poppy is a fresh pick. A vibrant red with a tiny bit of shimmer to catch the light and give you a healthy glow. Herborean Rouge Tint was my first foray into Korean makeup. Hoping to try some more K-Beauty products soon, but this super sheer liquid that gives you a soft rosy flush felt like a perfect place to start. Red on the eyes doesn't have to be a sign of being sick or sleep deprived. It's actually an easy way to make your eye colour stand out, particularly if they're green or hazel. Surratt lacquers were a hot launch last year to keep the glossy lid trend going. Shu Iro is the red from the range with a super a glowy, slippy finish, so creasing is inevitable, but try to embrace the beautiful mess. Kiko Milano's Colour Lasting Creamy Eyeshadow in 03 Bordeaux is a smooth, coppery red. Shimmery shades like this make for an easy look all over the eye because they almost add their own depth in the crease. The Gressa Eye Tint in Plum is a perfect bronzy, smoky red to subtly tint your eyes. It almost passes as brown or charcoal from a distance, but up close the shimmer adds a warm glow. Now, the Ritual de Fille Ash and Ember Eye Soot came highly recommended, and the shade Viscera caught my eye straight away. It's so intense and dark, but you can easily smoke it out for a nice burgundy base. And I finally got my hands on some ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Drift is a punchy metallic cranberry in a smooth powder formula. Fun for a graphic eye, but one swipe with your finger also adds a subtle wash of colour. More ColourPop coming this year. Let me know if you enjoy embracing this versatile colour mood, particularly over the holiday season, and if there are any red products you've been reaching for. Finally, an easy way to match your red makeup look to an accessory. Very happy that Daniel Wellington reached out and asked to collaborate. I wear one of their watches every single day and you know I love red. Their new limited edition cherry blush colour really makes a statement. Well timed for Valentine's Day gifts too as it's only available until February 19. This is the 28mm Classic Petite Suffolk. I'll add availability details, links and a discount code down below. Till 15 for 15% 15 off. I have a very similar Daniel Wellington watch in black, so this collaboration felt like a great fit and I'm excited to mix things up wearing the red. I wanted to acknowledge that this is the first ad I've ever featured on my channel. Very selective, not least because I'm just not the sort of person who says yes to free things that I wouldn't actually buy myself. But I also know how important transparency and authenticity is, and ads can sometimes feel a bit clunky or disingenuous. But I hope you'll trust my judgement, that I'll always remain honest and impartial and only take on occasional projects that fit comfortably with my content and personal style. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Daniel Wellington for partnering with me. See you next time.